If there is a place in our world that is bound to be the first where one can easily own and use electric flying cars or hire one as a taxi, it is the notoriously amazing Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. The city of 3 million people has become a truly enviable global hub for luxury living, innovation, technology, and you name it. And currently, it is the only metropolis in the world that is set on making flying cars a common sight as soon as 2025 or 2026 at the latest. Believe it or not, Dubai actually does not have traffic congestion problems in comparison to other major cities, so it is not racing to become a city from the future with flying cars all over the place to solve any problems, but rather to make life more convenient for its residents and visitors who already enjoy a world-class quality of life. Stay tuned to be amazed by Dubai's move to become a true city of the future just like the ones we see in movies. It is definitely something out of this world and a reality in the making. The concept of flying cars is not new. In fact, it has been around since 1885 when the first real ground cars were invented. For instance, the Obon Marche Company, which opened in 1838 and is currently owned by the luxury goods giant Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy, issued a comedy ad card that included a flying car in the late 1800s. In 1917, Glenn Curtis designed an aluminum flying car that sported three wings that spanned 40 feet. The car's motor drove a four-bladed propeller at the rear of the car. It did not fly, but it sort of made short hops. It was not until 1946 when the first ever real flying car was invented by Robert Fulton. He successfully developed the Airphibian, which technically speaking was not a flying car, but a drivable plane because he adapted a plane for the road. The wings and tail section of the Airphibian could be removed to accommodate road travel, and the propeller could be stored inside the plane's fuselage. It took only five minutes to convert the plane into a car. It was the first flying car to be certified by the American Civil Aeronautics Administration, which we know today as the FAA. It was quite an invention. It had a 150-horsepower, six-cylinder engine and could fly 120 miles per hour and drive at 50 miles per hour, but it was way ahead of its time, and the interest by corporations and investors was non-existed, so the lack of money sent the idea to the grave. Technology continued to evolve, and since Tesla made electric cars mainstream and Amazon turned flying drones into delivery vehicles, it was only natural for companies to begin merging these two technologies to make something that we have been seeing in sci-fi movies for many decades. Today, you can buy a quite safe and easy-to-fly five-passenger flying car for $150,000. However, getting a permit to fly one to work in downtown New York or Tokyo is beyond impossible despite the sometimes deadly and never-ending traffic congestion issues such cities face. As you can imagine, the concerns are many, such as the privacy of the people living below, security matters, regulations, traffic rules, it is not a jungle, and you name it. So far, only Dubai is testing solutions and has developed frameworks for such issues and has even built some swanky stations for flying cars. So behold, as early as 2025, Dubai could have roads and highways in the sky for flying cars. However, you can expect only flying taxis at first and private ones after the system is perfected. Even the Dubai police, which is famous for having an entire fleet of exotic and supercars such as Ferrari, Lamborghini, and even McLaren, has already purchased flying cars in preparation for the massive transformation. Well, at least we know that no one will be able to fly away to avoid a ticket. Here is something quite interesting. Dubai is planning to have self-flying taxis too. In fact, in September 2017, the world's first self-flying taxi service took off near the Jumeirah Beach Park. It was quite magnificent, and the Dubai elites decided right then and there to create a plan for making self-flying taxis a norm across Dubai and the entire United Arab Emirates. In January 2022, Dubai hosted another major event right after Dubai's Roads and Transport Authority, held the first legal forum to review legislation for flying taxis. During the event, the London-based startup Bellwether Industries conducted a successful test of its futuristic flying car, the EV Toll Voler, which stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. In May of 2023, the company will introduce its revolutionized EV Toll vehicle, the Voler, at the Mobility Live Middle East event in Abu Dhabi, which is the region's most important mobility event, where disruptive technology and innovation drive much-needed change. The new vehicle will be much more advanced than the original two-seater prototype that was tested in Dubai in 2022, 
as it will be a five-seater flying car that can accommodate families. The Voler is expected to be the world's first true EV toll, compact without a large wingspan or exposed blades. The propulsion system will be hidden and of course it will be electric and environmentally friendly. Other companies will also be competing to impress the Emiratis in hope of winning major contracts and investors with deep pockets. Companies such as the Florida-based Luftcar are planning to showcase an autonomous vehicle that can be attached and detached from a flying module. Other big players who are set to make quite a buzz are firms such as Eve Air Mobility, which emerged from the Embraer X division of Embraer. Whisk Aero, which was launched as a joint venture between Boeing and Larry Page's Kitty Hawk. Pipistrel, an Uber Elevate partner. The good news is that the Dubai Roads and Transport Authority has been piloting self-driving flying taxis and skypods, and some quite big and exciting news will be announced in late May 2023. According to some experts, Dubai and the whole United Arab Emirates skies will be buzzing with flying cars by 2030 at the most as they begin intensively not just buying, but also locally manufacturing flying cars and pods that will be used for the transportation of people, parcels, including large items such as appliances, heavy cargo, emergency supplies and crews, and you name it. Additionally, Dubai is already working in partnerships with some heavyweights for the development and manufacturing of flying cars that can be used for the transportation of soldiers and weapons. We forgot to mention that the focus is not on copter-style drones, but rather on cars that can fly. The winners will be the ones with wheels, no wings, high flight mileage, and of course, unique safety standards. Dubai is very tourism-centric, and the rush is driven by its ambition to become the number one global destination for tourism. We did mention a few firms so far, however. There is a major player that seems to be winning the hearts of the Dubai and United Arab Emirate elites. It is the Chinese technology and electric vehicle manufacturer Xpeng, which made the first successful global public flight of its X2 flying car at Skydive Dubai in October 2022. The stunning, sophisticated, inexpensive, and practical X2 has a top speed of 80 miles per hour and can travel up to 40 minutes non-stop, which makes it ideal for inner-city travel. The X2 also comes equipped with an airframe parachute and has an intelligent flight control system and autonomous flight capabilities. In early 2023, senior Dubai officials visited Xpeng facilities in Guangzhou, China, and invited the company to choose the United Arab Emirates to expand its market. According to a statement by the director of the Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry, this flying car is a luxury item and a lot of high net worth individuals are looking for technology and such luxurious products. Dubai is the place where we have customers. He also added that as soon as the framework of urban commercialized flying is complete, flying cars for both private and commercial use will buzz across Dubai sky by 2026 at the most. Rumor has it that the X2 flying car is already being developed and manufactured in Dubai, and it will be intelligent, electric, with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, and a great machine on the road too. The intriguing news here is that the advanced version of X2, which is being kept a secret, will be mass-produced in Dubai and delivered in mid to late 2024. All of this might sound like something from a sci-fi movie. However, Dubai is once again leading in yet another ultra-innovative sector that is bound to change the way we travel within cities, solve traffic congestion problems in big and crowded cities, and reduce carbon emissions thus helping the world tackle the global climate change and pollution crisis. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and do subscribe, as we will continue to take you on positive journeys about some of the most fascinating, massive, daring, progressive, and futuristic mega projects from around the world.